Okay, so now that you've had some time to think about positive and negative numbers, also known as integers, we are going to apply this idea to a real world example of banking. In the case of banking, when you have put in positive amounts or when you save money, that's considered a positive amount and that shows up as a positive number. So for example, if you save $200, that will be transaction. Transaction means any exchange. So you go ahead and you save $200 and you put that in your bank, your account is going to show a balance of $200. Now, the second time around, once you have the $200, you decide to spend $147. So in your bank, that's actually going to show as an addition of negative $147. So if you take 200, and you add negative $147, you're gonna end up with $53. In the third uh, instance, in the third transaction, after the $53, you decide to add 90 more dollars. In the next problem, you have to identify which steps are going to include an error using a hotspot. You will see the completed table and you'll have to identify which transaction shows the wrong account balance? Good luck.